Hello everybody. In this video, I got a speed meter and the motor is here. And uh, when we put it inside, and we can see the count and the speed in here, in this area. Rotating. We start it. The count is here and the speed is here. Let's get started with this. The module is here. It got four pins. We use only three pins. Ground, VCC and D0. The wiring diagram is here. We use only these three pins. Pin A0, we don't use it. The wiring connection is here. The other side, it's like this. Now I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video, it's available here. As usual, let's click File, New, let's change that to Project. For the part number, we put F03 D8. You can click this one and click Next. You can give any name, I give name, uh, Speed. Click Finish. Now click System Core, click Sys for the debug, select Serial Wire. For the RCC, we select to spell ceramic resonator. For the clock configuration, we change this to 72 enter. Now we select spin out and configuration again. And for the timers, we select timer 2 and clock source, internal clock. We select the channel 1 to input, input capture direct mode. And Configuration, parameter setting, we can keep as it is and uh, for the index setting, we select uh, global interrupt. That's all the code, we can click save, yes, yes. For simplicity, I have given the code in my website that is in the description below of this video. Now we go there, this is the one, go below. Go below, the diagram pictures are here. This is the cube ID setting, and the code is in the main.c file. We have to put user code begin 0 from here up to here. Copy it, go to the cube ID. This is the one, and uh, this main.c file, user code begin 0, we paste it. Go back there again. And use of code begin 2, we copy this line and uh, we put it here. Here. Now we can save. Go there again. In the this file, stm 32 f one xxitc we have to put this code. I'll show you where this. First we copy this one. Use of code begin 0. From here to here, we copy it and we begin zero in the this file. We go there in the cube ID, extend this code, source, src, and this is the file. Double click and open. Now here we find the user code begin zero. It's here. We paste it. And finally, user code begins cystic IRQ. We copy from here until here. Copy it. It's the same file. We go below. Cystic handler. This is this is the one. IRQ0. We paste it here in this area. That's all we can save. What is happening is uh, this cystic handler. Uh, you know, before that we go to main.c file, I explain what happened in the main.c file. You support begin 0. Uh, this file, I think I see capture callback. Whenever the, in the sensor, if there is a pulse receive, this function is called. So whenever called, we count, increment the counter. And in the IT file, the one we have, 
the cystic handler, this one is called every one millisecond. So here we we uh, we have a variable count. We increment it. When it thousand, that means every second. After every second, uh, we have the old counter and counter. Old counter is zero. The counter. So the speed is per second. How many tick? So that's the speed for the RPM. What we need to do is, I have the wheel. For the wheel, we have twenty ticks, and for sixty minutes, uh, sorry, sixty times in one minute. So we multiply by sixty to minute and divide by twenty because the, the wheel I show you is twenty. So that's how we get the RPM. That's all the code. Uh, now we can uh, click this button, the debug button. And uh, click the debugger. Uh, go below. Make sure the live expression is ticked. It's already ticked. Click OK. Now we click the live expression. Uh, we add here one number that is the counter. Counter. And uh, we have the Speed and one more here RPM. So we make, make, make it bigger. This is the value. Now we can click the resume button. Click resume. Now I have this one. So what I do is I just do it here. Three, four, five, six, and two times. Now I have one wheel like this, so I can rotate. So what I do is I put the wheel inside. The speed is increasing. Now I, I use the motor now. Now I have a motor here. So what I try to do is I put the motor inside and see the speed. So the speed is. Around constant, 180, around 180 RPM. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.